has good radio songs but sucks on stage. I want back my money. He sucks. See, that's what I mean. That's your opinion. I didn't see him on stage. I don't know how he was on stage. I don't know. But either way, dance hall culture, I love the fact that y'all find players that y'all love. Now, if I know or don't know them, does it mean that I'm bad-minding them? There's a lot of new artists out there that I will never hear about until they make that first real authentic radio hit. Because that is the level that I put my music listening air. And once again, if you don't like how I deliver it, you ain't got to listen to me either. But stop fucking cussing people out for their fucking opinion. It's their opinion. You know what I mean? It's my opinion. Understand that. You know what I mean? Yo, Sarah... Yo, I be like, yo, you want some real shit? I feel like I'm an alien more time. And what's about to start happening is because this shit right here, y'all about to start making me talk a whole lot more. And there's another friend of mine in media overseas who she actually came to me and said she want to do something because she feels the same way. She feels like when she talks that instantly people get aggressive instead of listening. You can't argue with me if your only argument is about pussy dick or some aggressive bullshit that don't have nothing to do with the point I'm trying to say. And big up to that website, Global Dance Hall, whoever the fuck that numbnuts is. First of all, you just want followers on your page. Who the fuck goes to a blogger page and makes a comment and tag the same blogger who paid you on? Dude, they fucking see you. It's their fucking page. But then you want to at me and change my words around and then turn around and say, oh, you was hot. Fuck you. What the fuck you know about weed? I've been smoking weed since I was fucking like 13 years old, my nigga. There's not enough weed in the world to make me not know what the fuck I speak of. All right? Know yourself. Know yourself. Yo, the young artists now work on the stage crap. See... I'm not going to speak in general terms because maybe it's speaking in general terms that pisses people off. But you're right. A lot of the new artists do not work on their stagecraft in the way they should. And when you say to some of the new artists, take a vocal lesson, they take offense to it because maybe their friends are telling them they sound good already. Certain things you don't see happening. Like back in the day, it's no longer how it used to be. So you're not going to have it where artists go to um, parties and jump behind the sound and then develop their craft that way. That was a big way to develop your craft. To get behind that sound system during a dance, during a party, and make sure you maintain the vibe. We don't do that anymore. So you don't really have that set of practice. So traditionally, the way that a lot of the veteran artists really develop their craft it's not really existent anymore, but that doesn't mean that they can't do better and not just come out there and figure, well, I just got this big paycheck, so I'm going to rattle off these songs and then do whatever. I mean, who troubled me? Honestly, a lot of people trouble me. This isn't about one person chaos. This is just about the fact that we are no longer allowed to say our opinion. And it's not even just in music. This is in real world shit. Like, look at the fuck that we got in... Look what the fuck we got in the White House. Look at Trump. And then it's like when you speak out, instead of people having conversations, it goes to arguments. Look what just happened with Aretha Franklin. Two people was in a barbershop arguing who should um, play her, who should play, who should do the tribute for her. You know what I mean? And, and it ended up into a gunfight. This is where the world is. And that shit is crazy. Like, it's crazy to me. Why the fuck can we not have opinions? Hold on, let me read some of this shit. That's what I'm saying, even in interviews. No, one hear no, people don't want to hear the truth. And I hope to God that more people start telling the truth because they always say truth tellers walk alone, right? And I have already deemed myself that person that's meant to just walk alone. I'm all right. I've already developed a, a knack for being able to live in my own little bubble. But what I'm not going to do is be silenced on my opinion by people who don't even comprehend words or can't even have an adult conversation back. This whole world we live in is so hell-bent on getting likes and being paid attention to. Because like I said, you know, the person who just tagged me, why would you tag the same blog site that you just put the comment on as if they don't see it? It's on their fucking page. That right there shows you the narcissism. It's like, look at me, look at me, look what I have to say, even if what I'm saying is bullshit. Fuck you. Go suck some Enfamil. You know what I mean? Go, 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 because you a baby. Go suck some Enfamil. Like, for real. I got a new word for them. They call numdums. 
or dumb numbs. Dumb numbs or numb dumbs. And why I call them that is because they're willfully dumb. I hate calling people dumb, but when you willfully dumb, there you go. Willfully dumb. And then the numb part is because they are numb to reality. They are numb to truth. They are numb to things. And that's why I call them dumb numbs. And then you tag and say, well, look at these artists doing good things. Massacre, Jamil, um, Jada Kingdom, and Chronix. I don't know why Chronix's name was in that tag, but you know what I mean? These are artists yeah. I have played and do play, have supported and do support. As Massacre, as Jada Kingdom, as Chronix, even though he nowhere near in this category. Ask them. So when I speak, I speak, I speak from both angles. I can love an artist and not like certain things that they do, you know, or, or like when I say something about Movado and then half of y'all, y'all motherfuckers go in the comments talking about, oh, because they fuck. That's why she's saying this. Are you stupid? Do y'all even listen to what I say about Movado? I keep telling y'all he has one of the greatest voices out there. I'm just waiting for him to find his footing because he is not where the fuck he's supposed to be. But then some of y'all take that like I'm saying an insult. It's not a fucking insult. When you can't com comprehend things, when you can't comprehend and you're just a fan, that's when you keep putting these reactions out there where you tell people to suck your mother, fuck off, pussy, or you don't know nothing. How? People. Hey, Martina, Startina. Yo, girl, I saw your video with you singing the other day. And that's one of the talents in this business that I think should have gone farther. Startina, Martina, she is a real raw talent right there. Hey, girl. But the music business ain't like that. Music business is unforgiving. Just because you have a song, just because you think you can sing, just cause, even if you can sing, it doesn't mean you're going to become a star in this music business. This music business requires a lot more than just your brethren boosting you up than a song on a rhythm. It requires so much more. It requires the confidence to be able to go out on a stage, to stop and talk to your audience without even faltering, to be able to pause on your song if you want to and feel confident enough to pull it back and do it again to take your time. It requires to be able to interact with your audience to make your fans know that everything you're doing, you're really doing it for the love of the industry, for the love of the music, and not just because, look at me, look at me, I want to be famous. This business, for me, it means a lot. It means a lot. So no, I don't really like the new way fully, 100%. I don't really like the new way of the industry. I don't. But I'm not telling anybody they have to do this or they have to do that. All I'm telling you is the way it is now, it's hurting us. And if you agree, great. If you don't, fine. I'm fine either way. But the way the industry now, it's hurting us. All right. Anyway, so um, what is it? I'm sorry. I'm... Oh, stop it! Stop it! Music is money making industry. They only do it for the money, like politicians. No, um, pretty melanin. Music is a money making industry, but a lot of people in here ain't in here for the money, or they would have never gotten here. They would have never gotten here. I know you want dance hall to reach as far as you want, but too much of these people are just writing artists did. No, yeah, there's a lot of people that can't take constructive criticism. That's true. Music and media are unforgiving. Exactly, and backstabbing. Exactly. I need your calendar. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, I'm about to start speaking my mind a lot more. To be honest with you, I haven't been doing a lot of this because I don't want to get into y'all social media bullshit. Because my, my tongue light. My tongue light. And I don't want to get dragged into this world, but I think a lot of people is being quiet just out of fear of some of these comments that come back when they try to speak. And I'm not afraid of none of y'all motherfuckers. I'm gonna tell you right now, because ain't a motherfucker ever built shit I have fucking done. I had to fight tooth and nail, and ain't nobody was trying to hand me shit. So at the end of the day, I feel very safe in the position I am right now to speak however the fuck I feel. You understand? I'm not looking for more followers. 